part by Inked Playmats at inkplaymats.com. Your place for custom-made playmats. Design your own or shop from other featured designers. Use promo code CLOTS to save 10% on your order. Inked Playmats. Your game, your style. To do on their website and come join us for a fun-friendly F&M environment. Hello everybody, this is Kevin from Clots Productions, and welcome back to Game 2 of the match between Junk Pod and Green White Aggro. Both players started this game off with a forest, and then George laid down a wooden cemetery and cast the Birds of Paradise. Hick then laid down a Sun Petal Grove and cast the Strangle Root Geist. He attacked with the Geist, which George took, going down to 18. On George's next turn, he played a Birthing Pod, and then Nick laid down a Plains and attacked with his Geist again, dropping George to 16. Then post-combat, he played a Blade Splicer and got a Golem along with it. George then cast a skin render and killed the golem. He then went to 14 to pot off the skin render and found himself a guy's honored monk which got two spirits with it when he came into play. Nick played a hero of blade hold on his next turn but chose to pass without attacking. George then laid down a swamp and played another birds of paradise. He then potted off his geist and searched for a massacre worm. When the worm came into play, it killed Nick's blade splicer along with his strangle root geist, doing 4 damage to him and dropping him to 16. George then attacked with his two spirits, dropping Nick to 14. Nick played an Elspeth Tyro on his next turn and used her plus ability to gain 2 life, going back up to 16. Then George played a worm coil engine on his turn and potted it off, getting himself 2 tokens. He went and found himself an Elish Norn Grand Cenobite. The Norn killed Nick's Geist again, taking him back to 14. George then attacked with his Massacre Worm and his two spirits, so Nick had to block the Worm and took another 8, going down to 6. Nick played a Gavin Township on his next turn and then used Elspeth's ultimate to destroy all other permanents except for lands and tokens. He didn't realize that Elspeth would not die on this though and went ahead and sent her to the graveyard as well. In post-combat, he played another Strangle Root Geist along with an Avacyn's Pilgrim. For George's next turn, he played a Strangle Root Geist of his own and attacked with the team. Nick blocked the Geist with his Pilgrim and then one of the Worms with his Geist. He then took another 5 going down to 1 life and George gained 3 going up to 17. In post-combat, George played a Viridian Corruptor just for the heck of it and destroyed one of his tokens. However, Nick was dead on board so went ahead and scooped it up, giving George the win and taking them to game 3. So that's it for this gameplay, I hope you all enjoyed it. You can find the full version in the annotations at the end, along with links to my vlog and my Let's Play Duels of the Planeswalkers 2012. If you like this or any other video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and add it to your favorites, then subscribe to be notified when more videos are online.